In today's video, we are taking a look at some of the hottest Pokemon cards of the last week, and we are starting off with the Unigaba Umbreon promo. Now, this card is bouncing off of this low of $38, $39, up into $50. However, last solds are actually higher than that. We're seeing $68, $63, 63 So this is definitely in the 60s, and this market price right here should be higher, which would show a way bigger percentage gain. So in the last month, 28% growth. That's pretty good for one month. And the reason I bring that up it's because if you look at this one year chart, it's just been falling from 67 all the way down to that high 30s. And now getting into the 60s, that's a pretty huge bounce back. That's going to put it back to this one year high for this Unigaba Umbreon promo. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on this one, see where it ends up. But exciting to see that it's finally rising instead of just falling. Next up, we have the Mewtwo and Mew from Unified Minds. Now, I feel like... Sun and Moon era, we don't really get to talk about too much on the channel. And looking back on these, I feel like these rainbow cards didn't age the best in my opinion. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree. Not that I don't like this card, but just something about this full rainbow style. There's some cards it works in, but just in general, it you know it just doesn't quite do it for me. But 14, 14 almost 15% in the past three months, it went from $154 up to $177. There are only 11 listed on TCG Player right now. Last solds actually are interesting though. 166 and then we have 230, 230, 160. So if this market price was around 200, this would be another situation where this percentage gain would be a lot higher. We'll zoom out to the one year and take a look. So it went up to almost 160 and it kind of ran down all the way into the 140s and now it's just been on a little bit of a run since about March. So that's some pretty good growth for this card, especially if you were buying in anywhere in this 140, 150 range even. Some pretty pretty good gains on that card. Then we have Team Up. Once again, Sun and Moon era. We're getting back to some of these cards. These are, you know, these there's some nice cards from this era, although I do feel like in general they get overshadowed by Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet just because the arts in general have gotten so much better. But I think this card holds up. It's a very good card. It's only up 10%, so percentage-wise, not the biggest gain, but dollar pretty decent. It went from 310 up to 340, so a $30 gain on the Gengar Mimikyu tag team card. Seven, almost 8% in the past month alone. The one year chart, it looks like it went from about 297 down to 260 and it's just been on quite the tear. Only five copies of these currently available on TCG Player with the last solds being way higher. 500, 350, and 650. So if this continues, this is gonna go way, way, way up. So current lowest listed, uh, this is a Chinese copy. It looks like 489 would be the lowest, which would be way higher. That would be a very massive jump. So it's going to be another one. We're going to want to keep an eye on this. This is going to take a pretty big jump, potentially. We'll see. Next up, we have... We got XY era on here. This is the Primal Groudon from Ancient Origins. 18% gain in the past three months. We don't only, we don't only have uh, older cards on here. We got some some newer cards as well. Don't worry, that's coming up, but if you're only here for the new stuff, but 18% in the past three months is pretty good. In the past month, it's kind of leveling off up a little. This is a card that doesn't get sold a lot. There's 14 currently listed on TCG, but the one-year chart's looking solid. This is looking really good. It's just climbed from 68 all the way up to 113. Last solds we're seeing kind of all over the place with this $100. 100, 170, 175, 250. So this will be another interesting card to see where it ends up. It's But that one-year chart's looking nice. That's just really long, steady growth. Uh, this is just a quick reminder right here to subscribe to the channel if you are not already. The reason I'm bringing this up is because we are nearing 10K subscribers, and I'm going to do a pretty decent giveaway for, for a smaller channel. We're going to give away Surging Sparks Booster Box, a Japanese 151 Booster Box, and a PSA 10. I'll give, uh, so three winners. The PSA 10 winner will be at least $100 value, and I'll give you some cards to choose from. So, uh, But you do have to be subscribed, and I will post a dedicated video uh, when we get a little closer, probably around 9K-ish subs on exactly how to enter, but you will need to be subscribed. All right, back to the cards. Okay, this is a card that I need you guys to help me with. I I really do not understand it. Like, I mean, I... I I, it's like a, it's a cool card, but look at this growth. Look at the three month chart. This is what's, this is blowing my mind. 90% growth. It went from in the past three months, $92 to it hit 180. 
but now it's at 176 last sold's 181 66 copies on tcg player the last month still like 25 percent gains and look at the one-year chart okay so this is where it's just so this was a promo card that you got right and i saw i mean i've seen people i don't know how they got them i saw people i was at a convention of some sort with a box of these promos just like a box i don't even know how many is in a box like i don't think they were supposed to be able to get them it was from yeah so this just it went from 160 down to 80 and then it like kind of rode this lower price for a long time in the 80s up into the 90s and then all of a sudden it's just shooting up again this is a card like i'm not buying this card for 180 i'm not i don't know it's just i don't understand that so help me help me understand in the comments like what is i i know what it is but like why are people so hard up for it at this price like i'm not even i wasn't even about it honestly even anywhere in this area for me uh-uh i mean like it's like if i got it for free you know like if you get it for free from buying it from the pokemon center or whatever that's cool no way you know or you bought it just cheap but this is this is ridiculous um so yeah when i saw this i was looking at promos this blew my mind because i do not understand this it's it's just coming off of a one-year high it's down a little so that 179 was a one-year high uh yeah but last sold's pretty consistent you know they're just climbing they're 180s 170s here 160 down there so yeah explain the felt hat to me um i don't know okay next up this is a card we talked about we made we talked about this card a long time ago and paradox rift is a set that has a lot of good illustration rares now not just 18 percent gain i get it but it went from 11 up to 14 so that's a pretty big jump for a card like this it's not really surprising because when you look at this card i everything about this card the artwork it's super cool i i loved it and i talked about this card before i said that this card is too cheap and yeah so 18 percent in the past month alone the three month chart's not as good it's only up six percent but we zoom out to the one year and we can see what happened this card was four dollars five dollars six dollars and then it had its big run up to 17 cooled off came down to like 11 and now it's back up to 14. it's just it's just a nice card from uh a set you know so paradox has a lot of illustration rares so the iras are actually kind of hard to pull and it's just a cool card right there's a lot of cards that i feel fall into this category that haven't had price increases like 109 percent so this is another example too of what we what we like to see when a card explodes it doesn't always happen but typically it has a big explosion and then it retraces down to a lower price or a higher low that's very common and that's pretty healthy when it comes you don't want to see it come all the way back to these old lows you want to see it set a higher low and that's exactly what this card did and it's on a little bit of a run We'll see where it ends up if it continues to run if it drops back down somewhere around this 11 12 dollar mark but the yvelto from paradox rift uh, paradox rift is a good set in my opinion next up from paradox rift this is okay this is a card that you know i, I get it doesn't have the biggest gains it's only like up eight percent but i just wanted this is another like this is an example of paradox rift in my opinion the magby i absolutely love this card everything about this card it's and it's cheap right now it's only eight dollars it went from 816 up to 880 so eight percent gain the three month charts up seven percent the one year is pretty solid though 50 percent growth at one point you could have had this as low as 565 was the low yeah and it ran up before to eight and came back down to seven and now it's back up to eight it's just uh it's just a nice artwork uh pre-evolution of a gen one pokemon i just love everything about it so while it's not uh it doesn't technically fit on this list because of kind of where it's at you know just not as strong of gains lately i had to include it i had to include it i love i love the magby there's another card i didn't pull it up but it's the blitzel illustration rare from this set look it up I really just everything about that card i like it's pretty cheap too all right up next now we got a searching sparks card on here and this chart because it hasn't been out very long looks bad it looks like it's down five percent but this card had a little bit of a rebound that I wanted to talk about. It went from 99, 99, 100 bucks. It went down to 80 and it's bounced off of that. Went back up to 96, now it's back up to 94. However, these last solds, 102, 102, I know there's some at 99. There's 105 down here. These 102 sales, this would put this at an all time high for the Milotic. I was, I thought that this card was really stunning. It's a connected art card with the Phoebus. I was surprised that it dropped like this. I thought it would run up for a little bit possibly but 
it's just as hard to pull as the Pikachu. Anyways, 18 copies currently available. I'll be keeping my eye on the Milotic. It's just, it's just an interesting point, right? And I know Surging Sparks is new, right? And this, these fluctuations are pretty normal, but it's just something to keep up on, right? All right, and okay, so this card we talked about recently. This is the Pokemon Together stamped Pikachu. These percentages are just crazy. I had to bring it up again because it kind of like, it's kind of like hit a, a ceiling maybe. 271% growth in the past three months with 93% in the past month alone. The one year chart, we don't even go to the one year, the six year. It was 14, 14, 14 and just absolutely shot up. 23 copies currently available. Last holds are even higher though. So that's why I wanted to bring this up. We're seeing 70, 68, 68 and 70s down here. If this chart, if we keep seeing sales and this chart updates to the 70s, that's absolutely massive gains going from 50 to 70. Then we got the Mimikyu, the Mimikyu Pokemon Center stamped promo card. 420%. So this card just keeps climbing. We, we talked about this, uh, I think, somewhat recently as well, but it just continues to run. Uh, it, I mean, popular Pokemon, and I think that I like this, uh, the art, everything that's going on. They're sewing the little quilt. I like this card a lot. But 420% uh, growth for the stamped promo. So if you're not familiar, this comes in the Pokemon Center exclusive version of the ETB. You get a stamped promo and then a regular promo as well. 130% growth in the past month. That's pretty wild. And the one year chart's looking juicy, 473%. Uh, you could have had this card for six, seven dollars all day long, four dollars, even right here at fourteen, fifteen, and then it just went crazy. Uh, last solds though are pretty consistently at thirty nine, thirty nine, thirty nine, thirty nine. Those are thirty eight. So I'm calling this a thirty nine, forty dollar card for where it's at. And yeah, that's the Mimikyu. I've got a few more stamped promos here. I just want to touch on them. A few of them. Look at our boy Maridon finally getting a, a little bit of growth, right? Scarlet and Violet stamped promo. 66% growth. It went from 20 up to 40. The last month, 16%. Super solid. These stamp promos, this is why people like these stamp promos. The exclusivity, these don't get reprinted, right? So, and this is a cool card. It's not, you know, it's not as, you know, I think I like the, I think I like the Coridon better, actually. Well, just because I feel like the, the art style on this I feel like this could have popped a little more, but it's still a cool card. Let me know what you guys think. You guys like this? Could it be better? Um, 15 currently listed. We're seeing, this is a low sale right here, 21, 40, but then we're seeing 55, 47, 44, 40, all in the 40. So we'll see where this card uh, ends up. Yeah, stamp promos. People are really, the market's really going crazy for them right now. Even the Crydon. So this, I like this one better. Um, just the, the art style and everything. But 32% growth, not, you know, 32% growth in the past three months, the past months looking like 17%, pretty solid. And one year chart of, of ugh, I cannot talk right now, excuse me. 146% obviously looks great. This is interesting as well. Like look at these prices. Last sold, we're seeing 53, 48, 47, 48. So this is all in the forties and fifties. There's one in the 33 here, but that would put this market price way higher if we keep seeing sales like that. So that's gonna come up. So that's what I'm saying is, these stamp promos are doing really well. Do you guys not understand that? Uh, then the Scream Tile. Okay. I absolutely. So there's some ancient and paradox like versions of these Pokemon that I don't like. I absolutely love this. This Jigglypuff just screaming. Uh, yeah. So I like the screaming version of Jigglypuff. I think growing up with watching the original Jigglypuff that would sing, put him to sleep, pull out a marker and draw on people's faces. I don't know. This one just seems like mischievous mischievous and i don't know i kind of picture like you ever get like those otter or guinea pig videos on like tiktok if you're ever on there and they're just like doing their little cries i don't know i kind of picture that as the scream tail but scream tail back to the card 66 percent growth in the past three months alone something interesting happened again this is what i'm saying guys okay look market price 27 12 copies available right Look at the most recent sale, $43. Now, I understand that's an outlier, but there's a 40 down here. So 29, 25, 25, there's a 16, 40. So we'll see where this ends up, but 40 is a lot higher than 27. That's gonna make this chart look a lot more wild. The one year, pretty solid on the one year, 120% growth. This was a $9, $9 card all day long. Um, Current lowest listed is 30, and then it goes up into the 40s. So just keep that in mind for your Pokemon Center stamped Screamtail. Last card, we touched on this recently in a video. I just wanted, I just wanted to address it again. The Bubble Mew. Dirty, 
this is charts dirty 120 percent growth in the past three months from 90s up to the two teens we did see a 240 sale somewhere in here um that we touched on in the last video is right here 244 so that's kind of down the sales list now and it's pretty consistent we're seeing 215 217 220 217 208 and there is a 200 in here but it's kind of definitely like leveling off you can see it on the one month it kind of levels off around 200 between 2 215 ish give or take and yeah 20 25 percent growth in the past month but it looks like that's for now at least for temporary that's where it's going to end up now if this is like the 151 charizard which i could see this card will retrace now i'm not saying it's not going to go back down to 80 bucks it might retrace see see how it it went to 170 and then it kind of leveled off just for a little bit actually we'll look at it like here went from 170 and kind of stayed there for a little while and then ran I could see it retracing to this point I could I don't see it coming back down to here but like I said and I explained earlier that's pretty common right cards jump up in price they they go big which this is pretty big they get big in price and then somebody comes in and they go oh my gosh you know not everybody is tuned into the market like 24 7 and they go the bubble meal I pulled that card the bubble meal is 215 and they'll they'll come on there and they'll go oh well this I want to sell mine quick I'll put it at 199. So a lot of the times that happens, um, and uh, you know and just the growth this sustained rocketing growth it doesn't just rocket up forever. Uh, for it to be healthy sustained growth you want to see you want to see it come back down set like establish a support line. I know a lot of these terms like I'm not the biggest like stock guy but kind of like stock terms support lines and higher lows and uh, retracing and all that. Uh, we're not going to get into that too deep, you know, Fibonacci retracements and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's good to see these cards retrace. You want to see them retrace and set higher lows. Otherwise, you're looking you're looking at like bigger crashes. And yeah, so with just with the market being what it is, just keep that in mind, right? So for me, if I was looking to pick up a bubble me, bubble me right now, I and generally as a rule, do not chase highs, right? I'm not. I wouldn't chase this high. I would wait and wait to see that retracement we saw it with the 151 charizard um yeah so there was a lot of people saying it was just going to keep going up forever but that's not how things work um they have to cool off or retrace for at least a while so keep an eye on the bubble mew give it some time if you want to if you want to pick it up so um yeah in summary so those are the cards i think we touched we got some few promos some older cards which was nice to see i like seeing some of those uh cards on the channel um subscribe for the giveaway if you guys are if you guys didn't subscribe when I talked about it and you're almost 18 minutes into this video and you're not already subscribed, you obviously enjoyed the content. You don't hate me that much to get this far into the video. So uh, daily Pokemon collecting and investing content. I'll, whenever there's uh, new cards announced, whenever something's going crazy, I'll make a video. You don't have to look it up. Just watch, just watch the video. You don't have to do any work. I'll bring it all to you. Um, so yeah, daily content if you want to subscribe. Giveaway coming up. We got some Paradox Rift cards we talked about. We did some surging promos. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then the Mew at the end. Um, stamp promos. Let me know what you guys in the comments. Let me know how far can these stamp promos go. And I want to bring up. Okay, I got not a lot surprisingly, but I got some heat last video. I talked about the Shrouded Fable stamp promo, the Petrant, and I was saying, hey, people really like these stamp promos. They they might make a little bit of money, and I got some hate for it. Um, not a ton, and I understand it, but. Is it, is it not possible that, like, if there's a scenario where these are, that's like the last one, like, and it could just move like a little, you can make a little bit of money. Anyways, uh, that's not a point I'm trying to drive home too hard. I just, with the, the popularity of the stamp promos, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it, it's a little insane. So if you can capitalize on the stamp promos, um, I do believe also, I think Twilight, if Twilight's sold out, right? So it's between Stellar yeah, I think Stellar is still available. So yeah, if you're going to get one right now, go Stellar. I like the Noctowl, personally. I really like the Noctowl. I think that card's going to continue to do really well. Um, I remember, just quick side side story, if you're older like me, when Gold and Silver first came out and they were announcing those new, all those new Pokemon, wild, wild times. I was so excited for that. But anyways, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never phase.